tea is ready and um <sighs> wow the amazing fresh diary is giving us tea tonight and uh together with snacks and then we have a musician in the house Benji is here and he is going to uh, take us through uh, the next set as we go and have our tea. The tea is already behind, already set. You go get your tea, come back, sit down because this session is still going on and it's getting better and better, all right? So we have questions. We want to touch and deal with exactly where you are and where you want to go, all right? That's the next session we are, go we are getting into. Vivid things that we are going to be able to touch uh, uh, to touch base with. So write your questions for those of you that fear to raise your hands and want to remain anonymous. And there is no wrong question. There is no stupid question. Ask anything. Good evening, ladies. I'm happy to be here. I'm Nachiganda Catherine Rona. Uh, my question, I'm a student at Macquarie University in year two doing Bachelor of Commerce. Let me interrupt, Katharina, you called yourself Katharina? Katharina. Katharina, I thought, eh, the name changed. No, no. We had Katharina, that was three years back, while we were still at Fido Dido. And Katharina was doing yogurt, selling yogurt at school. And she gave us a session, in the coach session, eh, Katya, she was in secondary school by then. And she was an entrepreneur in secondary school. Nga kole shido malacha yoga tinagenda na choku someno na achitunda. And she does more. So I, I, I wanted to apl applaud you for that. You're an amazing lady. And I know that you keep growing and innovating. Please go ahead. So my question is to Hani. Yes. Yes. Um, I have a situation. Uh, my sister, she's the third born. And she just has this feeling that she's not loved. Okay, yes, we keep looking out for her and every, every now and then. Mother, father, and me. Um, and I think so, at times she's offended because at times I get overly aggressive and she's affected by that. But then slowly by slowly, I'm trying to do the would-be small things, I gift her with small things. But then she finds comfort the house helps which disturbs me like so much and everyone seems known to understand her and i want i don't know how i can stand up and help her such that she has the self-love the self-confidence because she just as early as she was in her teenage she just had we just had a um, house help who did uh, molested? Who no no who, who did no, what? But mm. should give live coach pornography lessons and they affected her like so much. And then my dad became too too protective. She's the kind she's affected because I'm allowed to put on pants. Out. Uh, when I would want to buy her nice dress, you know, dad tells us that she's not supposed, you know, that he's overly protective. He, so apparently she affects life at school. She tends to host it so she can come back home, things like that, even when she's not sick. In fact, there is no time she's sick. There is a time they spent over 500,000 when I check up like, on nothing, like nothing. And Yet, she was pretending. Yes, and like, dad, okay, my dad loves kids, but then because she, she, was, she, went, she's, she went out of hand, so my dad feels like he needs to come and stand up, don't do this, why are you going, why are you coming back at this time? And it's, it's driving her crazy yeah, again. Okay. And it's bothering me too. I don't want to be overly aggressive. I want to be the loving sister. But then I want her to gain the confidence. I want her to love herself. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Really, I like the word quick. Because um, you need to understand what health is. Like the definition of health. 
health is when someone is well physically emotionally psychologically and socially so your sister is unhealthy because she has a problem and that problem cannot be diagnosed at once first of all confidential issues i already sort of know what is happening unless if you seek for further technical support you have my number because we do an assessment and we help out because you know when you look at these people someone has to be holistic when i know i know kutunulira because even when she comes the way she enters my office i can sort of understand but she needs a holistic uh, assessment you have my number i can help out i can't have a, a one answer thank you sure thank you now that's beautifully uh, handled thank you so much coach because now we need a lot more flesh on those bones in order to arrive at that assessment and be able to diagnose and then be able to prescribe uh, the process of healing but it's very doable but both parties your parents need the sessions and she needs the sessions it cannot be one way she can't just have the sessions and that's it even your parents need a guide on how to be able to let her be free but again without letting her go those are two different things yeah exactly exactly so let's use that number let's make sure that we utilize the support that we have thank you so much yes and over to you benji as you take us through this session as we get the tea and then we go right into more q and a please prepare your questions the hardest ones those ones that you think in your mind they are silly questions stupid questions how can people tell how will they hear me all those questions, please don't leave them behind. We are here for each other. Thank you so much. Now, the first song I'm going to sing for you guys, uh, there is a reason why God made love the strongest commandment above everything. When you learn how to love, everything else in your life becomes easier. Relationships are easy. Everything is sorted. So, the song I'm going to sing first for you, it's a hymn, it's called Okwagara. And may God bless you as you listen. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Honey. Uh, private sessions. For those of you, if you're really, <laughs> if you're registered as a person that has attended the coach events with the coaches in the house, I'm going to ask them to give you up to half price, and some of them are going to even give you pro bono sessions where you will not need to pay. So depending on the coaches, we will find a way to help, okay, if you've come for these, uh, for these sessions. Now, uh, just allow me briefly run through. We will have um, Benji give us a brief session, and then we will go back. But right now, let me just handle this very quickly. I'm a single mom right now, back at my parents' place, two kids, a boy and a girl. But I'm really failing, both financially, no job at the moment. But my, problems, I'm, my problem is I'm failing to get a guy. Everyone I find, either I get a fault with him, what should I do to see myself succeed, both financially and relationship-wise? Now, do you know, uh, the, way, the, the, the way I read it out, her main problem is finding. But again, she's very low financially and no job right now. And I will tell you this, sister to sister. Find a job. Okay? Work on yourself. Love on yourself. Love on your children. And ready yourself for the relationship of your lifetime. Okay? You can't skip the levels here. Because if you seek to skip the levels, get a man before you are settled financially, you're going to go back to the same ditch you are in right now. Okay? So the idea is not finding a man. No, you're not actually supposed to be even looking. Right now, I usually tell people the, 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 my story of carrots and what. I went home in nature and I was like, no, Hilda, I will never be broke again in my life. And let me tell you, sometimes when you affirm and speak these things, eh, they follow you. Because I was so serious about taking action the next day that I was willing to foot to go to town or to just find something to make sure that I do. And let me tell you, one thing led to another. Sometimes when you're heartbroken, you're thinking, maybe I should hide. Maybe, and let me tell you, God can even use the one who chucked you to set you up for the next success. Wanji? But because to be done in Tondo, no kwemanya, then you withdraw. Then no mumano kuteka mnyindo. Then into your knees and your knee and your sente bazinyi giram. Ah, ah, oli wabaku wa sente, kwata sente, have your relationship with that baby, vanyuma. So baby daddy is, is, uh, is, is saying, you know what, I'm, uh, definitely I don't, love, I don't love you, maybe he's not telling you that, but whenever he's calling you, he's talking about business. Meanwhile, he's talking about business. Sit down with your heart. Tell your heart, shut up. Okay, sit down. And then the hustleful woman should come out. Ogambo manyingenda mu business eno nga business lady eh yamba la kakondo ko yamba la skirt yo ngenda mu meeting toyogera ku love don't even smell like it because do you know how love makes you look stupid eh you look so stupid you come ngawe macha macha oyagala bakugambe ko ntionyumie ne bana ine wata ko ama ntionyumie ononye sente wanji oba si chocho mu manyi nti mu byo mu kwano mu but mu ideas mulunji bana nge twigo kwaula you have your idea. You want him to panel beat it. Call for a meeting. Mugambe, I want to meet you, but it's a business meeting. And when you come for the business meeting, make sure you're a business lady, not baby mama. Show up, sit, salako, have your targets, have your notebook. Mugambe, you know what? This is what I want to do, but you have these connections, or you know better in this industry. I want you to be able to, to help me. Vawonga toy nacho yo get day. Ne transport ains of Tamoku atambula. Wanji? Chewazo kuno no chi ochkozechi. Ochi funye. And then when he sees you climbing, that is when they're like, eh, um cousin no yali serious. 
And let me tell you, never were serious. So, Muntu Tala Bukanga Maz, Gamazoku Oku Dichinga. No Malo Kwambu, Katana Kunuri and Agamba Ten Queta Gaconeda, Mogam and Tunuri and Maveganga and Buddha. Want you? Do you know those things of? But if you've been uh, supporting my business, this is how I look at the back. <laughs> Hey, like seriously, you're going to the next level. You don't want any weight of kakati munange, ate kakati nulina linkula mange chikere, kati otunuliyanga princess. Such conversations. So my dear, get financially stable. Kolacho nacho urino. Whether you have to be a middle man. There's a lady we hosted some time back and this is what she did. She started by selling shoes at the street. Then she went kubiji, you know? Right now she gets her merchandise from China. I think we remember her. And she's doing so well in this town. But how she started from zero, they've told us about Jude. Okay? Now this applies for both men and women. Okay? Because we all get heartbroken. We all get people that leave us. But when someone leaves you, I told you, and I want you to hear me out. They didn't make you so don't give them the power to break you. They have never made you, okay? You still have your brain, you still have your ideas, you still have your God. You can still pray to that and let that God be the only one that sees your tears and maybe your coach or someone that is willing to hold your hand while you go up. Okay, we'll come back to that later. I'm a 29-year-old female. I'm working and independent. I must say I have achieved most of my goals, but I have failed to achieve one thing, which is a committed relationship. I don't stay with my boyfriend, but we communicate well. And I go to his place. I've been going to his place uh, once in a while. He's working, and I've dated him for two years. I really want to settle down, but he says he wants to pursue his masters and needs more time. My question is, how can I get him to commit without pushing him away by seeming to be desperate? Guys, don't laugh. Because they say men don't like being pushed to commit, yet I want that. Okay? And there are so many of us, and I will not ask you to raise your hand if you're that kind of person. The person... Oh, the man in this picture does not want the same thing that you want in this time frame. Okay? And you feel you're 29. That means you want to settle down. That is the phase where you're at. But you can never deal with something that is out of your control. What is in your control is you. The fact that is you want to settle down. He has his needs. Now, this is a negotiation. If both of you negotiate and you're like, you know what, I want to, I, I, I feel we need to take you to the next level. And he says he wants masters. He has taken care of himself. He wants to buy time. So what you do is you also take care of yourself. But not in a fighting manner of, the wrong man. No, no. You tell him politely, okay, but confidently that you know what? We have two different priorities at this juncture, okay? You want a master's, I want to go to the next level. Never be of, uh, uh, apologetic about you wanting to settle. Simu sangu. Wanji, ladies? Simu sangu, you wanting to settle. You know, there is a way they've uh, sculptured or made relationships to be favorable for men and not for favorable. The same thing you can't do. There is no man you can uh, man that can come to you naga manjaga la kuasa, no muga manjaga la masters, naga mantiwa nange muga mbantia komitiingi. Sometimes some of them will just choose themselves and say, you know what, we are not at the same wavelength. Go ahead and do your masters. If you find me well and good, if you find me taken, that's okay. You get it. So you have to have that confidence that if my priority right now, and I mean it, it's your priority right now. Okay? And you've sat down and discussed and he's only seeing it one way, his side. Because, guys, let's be honest. Omutu wa sobo lokola masters nga mufumbo. Wanji? Omutu wa sobo lokukuzala na nkola masters at the same time. So what is so hard, why do they want time? That is what you should be able to check. Because some of us, we think we are in a relationship with someone when it is one-sided. 
you are the only one in that relationship. For them, they are around, around, and maybe they don't have the guts to tell you, I will not marry you. There are so many people we have met uh, together with Tim, and the man really tells you, I don't think I will settle with her, but I don't know what to tell her, how to tell her about it. But guess what? They are on Instagram. Every weekend they are together. The woman goes and cooks and, you know, and prepares everything. Meanwhile, the man is seeing a coach somewhere and saying, I don't think I want to marry her, but I don't know how to break it to her. Okay? So I want you to know what you want, and this is what I want for you. That after making that decision, you're not going to regret that's what I want for you. If you know you will regret leaving that man, don't leave him. Be there and linger around. But chances are after he finishes his master's, he will have out outgrown you. Won't you? He will get at master's level. Won't you? Yeah, because this has to be, you walk into the middle, you come into the middle. I have waited for you for two years. We have dated for two years. So if you can meet me in the middle and tell me, you know what, while I'm doing my master's, people do weddings without money. People commit without money. So this is, what you, this is the only indicator you should look for. The willingness to find you in the middle. If there is no that willingness, he's willing to stay in the extreme end and he wants you to be at the extreme end, walk further than the extreme and meet yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Because Right now, you're the one who has prioritized yourself and decided to plug out. And plugging out does not mean you end the relationship. You can tell him, I'm plugging out while I rethink. Because me being in this relationship will overshadow my thinking and my decision making. And then get a coach. Okay, get, a, get someone to sit down and analyze so that you know that the decision I'm making is the right one and I'm not going to regret later, right? Okay, because of time, uh, let's welcome Benji with one session. Benji, yeah, he's here. And then as I get more questions and we are going to finish right on time.